Beautiful, beautiful question. I mean, honey, <laughs> just ubu I want to outlive myself. Puma mm Pretoria, -hmm. and uh, my grandfather from my uh, maternal side, mm. um, she he migrated down to Emmerisberg and Bali. Okay. So all the Mudeha Zulu speakers are the ones that were part of Umkulu who migrated down. Oh. So that explains then the, the maternal surname Mudeha. I speak to the fact that uh, we all come from something, and I've always been a believer that I'm part of something that is bigger than myself. Mm -hmm. And lineage is Zoe Mudeha, knowing that she comes from Abo Simpure Dan and Abo Tandiswamazwai, knowing that they come mm. from U Brenda Fasi, knowing mm. that U Usis Brenda Fasi comes from Mirimakeba. Mm. So I, I think I love the fact that I represent um, the lineage of, of music and the way mm. in which we express ourselves, mm. you know. Mm, mm. Um, and I'm proud that I'm part of those women and I get to yes. be recognized in yes. those spaces yes. and these, in those conversations. Mm. It feels like someone is recognizing me as a daughter of these people Ooh. because they form as so much. Uh, they form a part of the music that I listened to growing mm. up and the stories that were happening around their music mm. and they were the soundtrack to my life. Mm. To me, was something that was always around. Mangabanga mm. Mbali Ewan in Peter Maritzburg. You know, it's like a very typical township setting where one person is playing music on that side. A copin like there's some kwaito there, mm. and the, the 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 neighbors nursing a hangover are listening to umpakanga. Yes. The lady that's spring cleaning is listening to gospel, gospel. music on that mm. end, mm. and so it just it just feels like music was always in the plan because I recognized how beautiful it was to people. To yeah. Aban Bay to, yeah. you know, at yeah. a very at a very early age. And mm. I remember feeling like I want people to feel like this. Mm. And I don't know how that's going to happen yet, but I want people to feel the way that they feel when it's a random day and they're listening to music that speaks to them. I do come from an academic family of people who are hardworking. Abai Abai Tata very seriously in Dabayenza, mm. you know. Mm. And I just I've always considered myself a scholar of music, very similarly to how they've considered themselves scholars of what it is that they do. Mm -hmm. So it's no different. I'm a doctor of, of, of music, so to speak, mm -hmm. in the sense of, of healing people and what it means to people, mm -hmm. you know. So, mm -hmm. And I'm grateful, Guti, they, they've been there every step of the way. I think they saw very early on that Man, there was just no other way. Really? They were going to school plays. I'm yeah. sure they were just like, child, we know. It really is about competing with myself. Mm -hmm. Because if I compete no more monto, then I have to, you know, live up to something that is outside of myself. Mm -hmm. But there is no other Zoe Mudeja. Yeah. And so it sometimes is a difficult thing to remember that. Yeah. But yeah. in the times when it isn't, I'm like, yeah, I'm here. It's me. It's crazy. And I just amplify and just try to better my craft. I had my head in the game yeah. for that competition. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so into uh, Bangaya is about the voices that a lot of the people that competed, especially in the first season, because mm -hmm. that's the season I was in, mm -hmm. um, a lot of them were actually professional musicians already and active in the space. Yeah. So we had a, more of an understanding of what it was that we were going to do there. And we learned all that we you know, went to learn. Mm -hmm. But for Mina, it was really about just showcasing my versatility. And I tried to challenge myself by choosing when a rock song, when a ballad, yeah, yeah. and just really showcasing to people what it is that I'm about, you know? And again, with that, I, I couldn't be Richard Sturton, who won. I couldn't be uh, Tembega Mguni. I couldn't be Jeremy Olivier, but I could be Zoe Mudeja. Yeah. And I wanted to make sure that regardless of how that competition ended, people remember that there was that bald girl with the septum. Yes. With the septum ring. Yeah, and she yeah. shook things up, yeah, you know? Yeah. Yellow the Novel was such a special album to me. Mm -hmm. um, it, it got a lot of influences from different kinds of music, you know, so there's a little bit of soul in there, some African jazz, mm -hmm. you know, some R&B kind of sounds coming through in there. And I worked with honestly some of the most incredible and world class musicians mm -hmm. till this day. I'm able to say the same, you mm -hmm. know, some incredible talents who were able to just give themselves into the music that yeah. was written. Mm -hmm. um, and with that era, there was a, a lot of looking like you do today mm -hmm. with the yellows yes, and the whatnots. Yes, and yes, we had a lot yes. of fun with that. Um, had people really find themselves moved by the message, which mm -hmm. was really just, you know, celebrating self and self-realization and just, you know, being able to look in and enjoy and, and celebrate that so that when you 
step into the world, you you are recognizing fully, you know, who it is that you are and what it is that you're about. For people to fall in love with your ideas and to give time into what it is that you do has to be the most humbling thing, mm. you know, because people don't have to have the time of day for what you have to say, Big facts. for your talent, And for this your industry time. will teach you that quickly. Absolutely, and it has. It's taught me in many ways as well. So to have people who see um, a vision at a time where I didn't have anything really to stand by, so mm. to speak, outside of the actual gift. I didn't have accolades to show for, mm -hmm. you know, that could buy them in. Mm -hmm. It was really incredible. Um, and I always said that I, I want to do things that scare me. And mm -hmm. I, I want to work in spaces where I feel like, oh, this person said, yes, we're doing this. Yes. Yes, and I felt yes. like that about about that album, and in in many ways felt like that even about um, my sophomore album in Ganekwan, yes. you know. So I love spaces that scare me because they really are the best teacher, and they help me to grow and to really work on the craft and make sure everything is done to perfection and with honesty. The time when in Ganekwan it was written, I was in a space where people were listening to the song in Ganekwan, which is from Yellow the novel, yes. and they kept saying, "Hi, Bozoi, you know, malu paleng esintu gabon." You must yeah, look into yeah. language because mm. there's so much power mm. that is lying dormant in that space for you. Mm. And I would always say, you know, as much as I'm proud to come from KwaZulu, mm. I have had um, the life of moving around in different places. And I was not confident about my mother tongue, mm. you know. Mm. And so that was scary to consider myself as a, a, a storyteller mm. and a songwriter and to do it in my language. Yes. You know, the gram <laughs> the po the poet the poetical license of yes. that, the grammar. And I realized Guti language is is part of lineage mm. when i speak i'm not just representing myself mm. but i'm representing you yes. i'm representing a, a whole line of people that i come from and mm. I, I love the idea of respecting what that is i realized early on that um I wanted to have um, my own freedom when it comes to expressing myself. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to worry too much about um, trying to tick the many boxes that you do sometimes have to t tick mm -hmm. um, because you're associated with um, entities like being signed, you yeah. know? So I knew that by having Ooh, Yellow Wax mm -hmm. um, and having music that I release under Yellow Wax, I'm mm -hmm. able to have that artistic license. Yes. Um, and I'm an artist that doesn't just concern myself with message and music, but the visual experience experience of it as well mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and i feel that being mm. able to you know have have the freedom to completely create the world that i want to give to people yeah and i really would like each era that i do to speak to something different visually artists and people in general in general need something that recognizes them and sees them and that adds value you know when it comes to business and the way in which we do things if i'm an award-winning artist unfortunately and fortunately i do get to be taken seriously in the space that I walk to and in the conversations that I have. You also get to charge more. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it adds value to what it is that I do. Yeah, I, I really yeah. want my my stories and, and, and my Legacy. music and, and even mm -hmm. just Ubumina. I want to outlive myself mm -hmm. and I want to be remembered as someone who who, who contributed positively, mm -hmm. man, and who mm -hmm. made people feel alive. Yeah. Whether it was people who had similar backgrounds to myself or had nothing in common with me. Yeah. You know, I feel that we all we all meet up there. Yeah. So yes. I'd like I'd like to be remembered for that. <laughs>